Air Ether Wireless WDS Bridge Installation Training. There are four major sections to setting up a wireless WDS bridge, including an overview of the WDS bridge installation setup, the station WDS configuration, the access point WDS configuration, and troubleshooting if required. The overview will preview the base and remote stations. The station WDS configuration will preview how to set an IP address, how to use the uconfig tool, and how to check the IP address using a command prompt. The access point WDS configuration will go over how to set server DNS settings, again how to use the uconfig tool, and how to check your connection using a command prompt. Finally, the troubleshooting section is available if you run into any problems. Before setting up the bridge, ensure that your devices are properly situated to allow for the greatest connectivity. Face the front end of your device toward your desired signal direction. To set up a bridge, your devices will use the access point WDS and station WDS modes. While in these modes, we will use a wireless distribution system, or WDS, which is a system that allows us to interconnect an access point into a network without the use of wires. This will be accomplished by using two or more devices. One device will use the access point WDS mode, which will act as the access point to the network and other devices will use the station WDS mode which is used to connect to the access point. There are several important external hardware components that we should know before installation, such as the system status LEDs, the external antenna connectors, and the weatherproof PoE ports. The system status LEDs include a power light that indicates if the device is on, a LAN light that indicates that the device is connected, and signal strength lights that indicate the device's current wireless activity strength. Depending on the model, your device may have zero, two, or four external antenna connectors. A device with two external antenna connectors will have two ANT1 connectors, and a device with four external antenna connectors will have two ANT1 connectors and two ANT2 connectors. Refer to the model label in the front of the housing to find your device's model. All devices have two labeled weatherproof ports. The WAN port on the left side is used for PoE, and the LAN port on the right side is used for switching. To set up your station WDS devices, begin by opening up a network connections window. In Windows XP, this can be done by opening the Start menu, then moving your mouse over Connect To, and clicking on Show All Network Connections. Right-click on the Local Area Connection item and click on Properties. Next, click on the Internet Protocol TCP IP item and click on Properties. To do this in Windows 7, open the Start menu, click on Control Panel, then click on Network and Internet, and select Network and Sharing Center. Click on the link that has the name of your network in parentheses. Then click on Properties. Next, select the item Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP IPv4 and click on Properties. To set the IP address, click on the Use the Following IP Address radio button. Each field will contain four different sections, separated by periods. For the IP address field, fill in the first section with 192, the second section with 168, the third section with 1, and the final section with 23. For each additional device, you will need to choose a different number for the fourth section. Next, click on the subnet mask field and make sure that it matches the subnet mask field in the image. It should show 255 in the first three sections with a zero in the last section. Next, click on the Use the Following DNS Server Addresses radio button. In the Preferred DNS Server field, fill in 192.168.1.20. 
which is our default DNS address. Open the uconfig program and your device should appear in the product list at the bottom. Click on your device in the list, then click on the open web button which looks like a globe. When the browser opens up, you will be asked for a username and password. The default username is root, R-O-O-T, and the default password is also root, R-O-O-T. Next, mouse over the basic wireless tab in the menu and click on radio 1. Set the wireless mode field to station WDS using the drop down menu. Next, click on the apply settings button and save your changes. Next, open up a command prompt. In Windows 7, you can do this by opening the Start menu and clicking on Run. Then type in CMD and press Enter. In Windows 7, open the Start menu, select All Programs, open your Accessories folder, and click on Command Prompt. When the command prompt opens, type in IPCONFIG and press Enter. This will give you information regarding your IP address. Under the local area connection label, look for the IP address field. This number should be the same as the one you entered earlier when we set our IP address for this device. Write down this number so that you can use it later on. If you have multiple station WDS devices, repeat the instructions for each of those devices. Otherwise, continue with the next set of instructions to set up your access point WDS device. Once again, open up your network connections window and open the properties for the Internet Protocol TCP IP item. Click on use the following IP address and enter 192.168.1.1. Set the subnet mask again with 255.255.255.0. Click on Use the following DNS server addresses and enter 192.168.1.1.0. Open your uconfig program again and go to your browser. Select the basic wireless menu item and set your wireless mode field to access point WDS. Click on apply settings and save your changes. Click on the status item in the menu bar. Your wireless mode field should show that it is in access point WDS mode. Look down at the Connected Stations section to see how many devices are connected. If not all of your Station WDS devices show up, write down all of the connected devices' MAC addresses. Open the status page of each of your Station WDS devices and check if that device's MAC address is on your list of MAC addresses. If it is not, then that Station WDS device is not connected. Open a command prompt again and get the list of IP addresses that you have written down. For each IP address, type in ping followed by that address. For example, if you used 192.168.1.45, type in ping spacebar 192.168.1.45. And press enter. If you receive any replies then the corresponding device is properly configured. Once you have done this for all of your devices you are finished. On your station WDS devices once again open the uconfig program and open the configuration page for your device. Click on the status item in the menu and check that the wireless mode is set to station WDS. Click on the Align button to check the signal strength between your device and the access point. If you ran into any problems during your WDS bridge installation, you can check the following. Check that all of your device's power lights are lit. Check that your devices are set to the correct wireless mode. 
check that you have not used the same IP address more than once and check your device's signal strength using the interference analyzer located in the basic wireless tab in your device's uconfig page.